Girls. My name is Betsy Nichols. I am a program specialist for the Girl Scouts of Minnesota and Wisconsin Lakes and Pines. I work out of our Duluth office in Duluth, Minnesota. This video is part one of four for the Amuse Journey, which is also known as the Junior It's Your Story Tell It Journey. Before we dive in, let's get started with the Girl Scout Promise and Law. On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout law. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, and responsible for what I say and do, and to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. Great. So, like I said, this journey is called a muse, and it is all about stories, and we will be um, having fun trying on new roles and being a leader. You're going to stretch yourself to play new parts. Um, kind of think about, like, the theater and all the different roles that you can have in a play. So, um, which is the first activity that we are going to be talking about. So, I rounded up um, a bunch of things from my home that show the different roles that I play. So I'm going to share them with you. So the first thing that I have is my oboe. So I am a musician in um, as part of one of my hobbies. I have played the oboe since 2006. So I have my oboe and I have some of my sheet music. So that's one role that I play in my life. Another role that I play is handy woman. Um, any small repairs that I can do, sometimes I have to uh, look up how to do it. But once I have the information, um, I am confident that I can figure it out. So I play the role of handy woman. Let's see, other roles that I play, I play the role of a chef. Um, I do a lot of my own cooking and baking. So I have these um, egg or electric beaters. Uh, to represent that, let's see, um, with these virtual programs and these videos that we've been creating, um, I have taken on a new role as video producer. Um, so this is a selfie stick. I use it a lot when I am filming uh, myself for these virtual program videos. So that is a new role that I've had to take on and it's been a lot of fun. Another role that I play is, of course, a fashion model. Um, you know, we don't have, you know, between online school if for your life and then the work online in my life, it's been a really fun time to play around with some of the clothes that maybe I don't wear every single day. Uh, so that's a role that I get to play. Um, another role that I play is an artist. Um, one of my hobbies is embroidery, so I am, uh, did the embroidery on this tote bag. It was inspired by one of my favorite books that I've read called The Alchemist, so I um, did the embroidery on this bag, and I was very proud of that. And then one last role that I've been playing lately is a responsible citizen. If you're watching this video in 2020, um, the world looks a little bit different than you might be used to. And um, this is a cloth mask that I've been wearing uh, whenever I'm out in public doing my grocery shopping. And it's uh, something that I can do to help keep myself safe and keep the other people around me safe. Um, so I've been wearing that lately as my role of responsible citizen. So that's my prop box. I would love to see what you put in yours. Um, you know, if you play sports, if you, um, you know, put any of your Girl Scout stuff in there, like your vest or your sash, um, we're all going to have different pop prop boxes, which is really cool and really fun because we all lead very different lives. Moving on, we are going to talk about the leaders in our lives by creating a casting call log, kind of keeping with that theater, um, theme. So we are going to create 
um, a couple different columns for our call log. Uh, the first column is going to have the name of the person, the role that she plays in our lives, and how does she act. So I'll give you an example. I have, let's see, I did, I talked about my mom, I talked about my sister, I talked about one of my friends and coworkers, and then I talked about um, my academic advisor from college. So Elizabeth is my academic advisor. That's her name, and that was one of the roles that she played. Um, she also is a professor um, at the school that I went to. She is an outdoor education professor. And then how does she act? Well, she is a very confident person. She is a very innovative person and she is a very composed person, which has been my experience with her. Um, and so I think that really embodies her as a person. Um, the next questions that we are going to ask ourselves is what elements of the Girl Scout law do these leaders um, show? And so for Elizabeth, I said that she is very strong. Um, it was so fun to listen to all of her stories of being outdoors and leading all these different people um, with just crazy um, weather conditions. And so she's really just a strong person who um, just keeps going. She really perseveres. And then the last question that we're going to ask ourselves is, is that a role that I would like to play? And so for Elizabeth, maybe I'm not going to be, you know, a professor in outdoor education. Maybe I'm not going to be a college professor, but maybe I would love to advise someone. So when you're looking at these leaders in your lives, when we're saying, is that a role that I would like to play? You don't have to you know, want to play every single role that this person plays. You know, maybe I don't want the same exact job as my sister, but I love that my sister is an advocate, advocate for other people's rights. Um, and so maybe, so that's a role that I would like to play. You know, maybe I don't want to be a college professor, but I would love to, you know, be able to um, help out the people around me and advise them. So that is what we're um, talking about with, is that a role that I would like to play? So I'd love it if you could experiment with this, make your casting call of leaders in your lives. Um, and so those are the two um, activities from a muse that we are going to be doing today. Um, I really hope that you join me next week where we do a couple more. And um, please, I would love it so much if you shared what your prop boxes look like. Um, so I will close things out with make new friends and a friendship circle. So sing it with me. Make new friends, but keep the old. One is silver and the other's gold. A circle is round, it has no end. That's how long I want to be your friend. Bye Girl Scouts.